this celebration of beauty has reached greater heights. Welcome to the Coronation Nights of Mr. Adventure Chinatown Philippines 2019. We welcome the chairman of the Chinatown Foundation, Mr. Wilson Abayani. with another batch of new candidates who represent the different core values that the Mr. and Miss Chinatown pageant holds. As we celebrate diversity in the modern day and age where our children can choose whoever whatever they want to be, a generation with no limits, as we strive to provide them with a foundation and values of respect and resilience, which is the key to survive and rise upon your asses, just like a phoenix, overcoming adversities with grace and high virtue. The Miss Chinatown Foundation is my lifelong dream, and seeing the Mr. and Miss Chinatown project flourish over the years, and witnessing more and more people who come to support this legacy make me feel very grateful for the support that the Filipino Chinese community has given this project nationwide. I have a gratitude of the never ending support of our sponsors, my family and friends, the Federation of Filipino Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry, alongside the actual group and all our yearly sponsors who continue to act as pillars holding this advocacy project going. To our distinguished guests, judges, maraming salamat po. To the parents of our candidates, to Greg Paolo Valenciano, son of Gary Valenciano, thank you so much for being with us for the last three years. Your contributions, ideas, visions, and concern to our cause make this event more better every year. You know, the Red Paolo is now a Chinoy, but not by blood, but by heart. Am I correct, Greg? I will never forget the beginning years of this project when Miss Alex is called. Miss Chinatown Foundation Executive Director and I just started in how small of a team we just were. It is rather humbling to see how far we have come. There are still bigger dreams and bigger projects lined up outside the NCP, but those plans are still at the works. Now that we are on our sixth year working with my partner, Phil Chai Media Production, headed by Ms. Joy Tan and her son, Abby Kingsong Tan. I can see how we are working towards one goal, having the same vision to bridge the gap between the Chinese and the Filipino and preserving our culture amidst modern times. Having the same heart on this project just makes it easier working towards better purpose and giving back to the Filipino and Chinese community and showing the talents and beauty of a modern day Chinoy. As optimistic and entertaining at this year's NMCPT, we are looking forward to celebrate diversity and harmony through this advocacy project. Enjoy the show and see you all next year for Mr. Miss China Twenty. To Uncle Tama like me, happy Grandparents Day. Again, thank you so much. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wilson Akayani. Please welcome our partner in conveying the powerful message of building bridges, the Chief Operating Officer of Bill Chai Media Productions Incorporated, Miss Lorraine Sand. Thank you. 
长、武文伟先生及夫人、总监武佳莹小姐、德记集团高级副总裁廖永恒先生、中国驻北大使馆上部参赞江建基、北华三联总会理事长李立俊博士。北华电视台董事长陈亨利先生、总裁陈丁山先生、各位评审委员、北华先生小姐、各位候选人、各位女士先生，大家晚上好。时间过得真快，北华电视台举办北华先生小姐，至今已经有四年了。首先，我要感谢飞华先生小姐基金会董事长吴文伟先生、韩总监吴佳莹小姐对于我们的信任，延续四年配合我们主办飞华先生小姐选美活动。同时，也要感谢德进集团成立度假村主任汉普谢蒂以及赞助我们的热心赞商。飞华商、飞华桥梨，尤其是我们合作伙伴的飞华商联总会，延续四年不间断的鼎力支持，没有你们的支持，就没有今天飞华先生小姐将年晚会的圆满成功。飞华小姐先生选美会，已经成为飞华社会的一个主要盛会。本台选举选美会之在，是现赋予现代华裔青年男女主动权的使命，成为社会变革、喊现代中国价值观和文化的典范。二零一九年，飞华先生小姐的选美活动，分别在华人区的福德拉玛扎和成立族城度子。度假村、十二日、十二日、十四日，举行初选，在一百多名参赛的华裔青年中，选出二十八位飞华小姐、韩飞华先生候选人，并在八月十五日，甲立甲成立独城度假村、十二日、十二日、十四日举行晚会，并于八月十八日和二十五日分别将。香格拉拉沙韩美加广场举行文化时装和才艺比赛，而最终以今天晚上甲亚洲商城 S M O R Arena 举行总决赛和嘉年华晚会，并将晚会并将由 A B S C B N 电视台于九月十五日播出，希望巧色人士不要错过。最后，借此借此特刊，再次感谢所有赞助者，并祝大家有个美好的夜晚。谢谢。
and helps them develop their self-confidence and ability, enriches the experience through personality development, and molds them to be a better person. On top of this, Mr. and Miss Chinatown has also given the candidates a platform to talk about their personal advocacy. We look to our candidates as goodwill ambassadors of our community and role models for our youth. So tonight, we wish them all the best as we count who will stand out the most. Thank you very much and a pleasant good evening to all of you.
Joshua Benzia, 19 years old, De La Salle University, Manila. Guys, ask me this, who's 24 years old at the Lord of Manila University? Russell Oth, 22 years old, at the Lord of Manila University. Waldron Dolphicli, 24 years old, from at the de Manila and Harvard University. That's true. And uh, we see the fusion of the Filipino and Chinese cultures. So if you have lots of comments or thoughts about this evening, don't forget to use our official hashtag, which is Building Bridges. And uh, at this point, we'd like to thank our co-presenter for this evening, the Federation of Filipino Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry Incorporated. And special thanks as well to our Diamond sponsors. We got Blue Water Day Spa. Organic Incorporated and Mestiza Soap and our official Jewelry and Crown partner, Josegi. Let's give them a big round of applause. Maraming maraming salamat po. And with all of that, the night has just begun and the battle is about to get real. This is Mr. Mr. and Miss Chinatown, Chinatown Philippines 2019 presented by Tachun Group. Mr. and Miss Chinatown Philippines 2019 hosted by Robbie Domingo and Gretchen Ho with Janina Chan and Willard Chuo. Organized by Chinoy TV, Miss Chinatown Foundation Incorporated, ABS-CBN. Presented by Hak Chun Group. 
co-presented by the Federation of Filipino Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry Incorporated. I think these, this bunch is very, very fun. That's true. They were talking to me at the backstage and uh, we had some light chats and some pictures. Mm. Definitely got the fun started like right away with that one. Mall of Asia Arena, this is a competition. It's a rally. It's a rally for the favorites. My question is, who is the winner of this event? Oh, 
If you look at the man in the mirror, mm. you will see that the children mm. are our future. Wow. And since we have true colors, we are one. And we can heal the world. Yan yun. Parang narinig ko na yun ah. Sa manindig yun. Sa video ko eh. Ha? <laughs> Pero alam mo, Robby, dapat magpaturo ka na lang mm. sa mga candidates natin because they are very, very good when it comes to expressing their views. But, you know, tonight, this party is not just about us. Because tonight, we also have with us our co-hosts, Janina Chan and Willard Chua. How are you guys over there? Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, Robbie and Gretchen. Hello, all of Asia Arena. Hi, Willard. You look great. Hello, Janina. You are so beautiful tonight. This is TCA and we welcome all the viewers. Everyone, welcome. I love you. You know what? All of our 25 candidates are really off to an impressive start. And I'm sure Puso na mga fans and supporters nila panalo na sila. But you know what? At the end of the day, this is still a competition. Kaya naman I'm sure pahirap pa na naman ito pagdating sa ating mga judges this evening. That's right. And now we are going to present to you the men and women who will determine the next Mr. and Miss Chinatown Philippines 2019. Starting with our first judge is the Senior Vice President and of Branch Banking Group from Asia United Bank, Mr. Jacob Nam, Wang Shiming Xiaoxiao. Up next, we've got an inspiring Filipina from commanding the dance floor to managing her very own business. She's also an actress and an award-winning TV host. She's also the brand ambassador of Organic, one of our sponsors. Let's welcome Miss Regine Tolentino. Chinoy who inspires the youth in the form of the arts. He's also a Kapusa actor and the brand ambassador of Blue Water Day Spa. And you know what, Willard? Last 2014, he was actually Mr. Chinatown's first runner-up. Let's all welcome Mr. David the 